And welcome everyone to what's going to be very painful for me to probably end up doing. Only, not really. <sighs> yes, I'm doing another series in Keen of Dragon Pass. People end up uh, wanting a long playthrough, so you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do a long playthrough. I'm going to kind of skip a lot of the tutorial stuff because, you know, watch my other series if you want, if you want to learn more about that. You'll kind of get the gist as time goes on. I'm going to do my regular stuff, change it over to, you know, Mortal Enemy, always being the Elves. I don't like picking really anyone else. And I mean, anyone, like, really past, um, Italian Prax or Salty Lord of the Seed. It is essentially a case where, and I believe I explained it before, where in order, it's the weakest but most numerous, and it goes down. I don't think I've ever once seen anything to do with the Ice Tribe, but I could be wrong. But, um, I don't like attacking oh wait no I everything got skipped whoops <laughs> yeah just skip go with that so um what people want to see me do is uh preferably not misspell a name oh wow I'm apparently being really scatterbrained today which is not necessarily a great thing to do but if you want to see a long campaign now with a long campaign I'm going to either go until my clan dies I succeed or I get to a point where I can't continue anymore, which has happened before with me. Where it just kept on failing and I was essentially imploding on myself. Which does happen, that's some in-game mechanics, so... I'm gonna be doing a long game. I'm not gonna do it on hard difficulty. I tried to do it on hard difficulty. And I just, no. It was not worth it. If I did a short campaign, I would have kept going. But now with a long campaign, it's really not worth the trouble for me. So let's go ahead and proceed. And again, as per usual, we start with all of our regular stuff, the amount of people, our fortification, i.e. being a ditch, and our temple to Orlunf. So let's go ahead and see what this year has to be. Okay, so our god tigers uh, say that we'll have typical harvest, and few of them are worried that the crops might not get enough rain this year. I can kind I could potentially fix that, maybe. I'm gonna go and put my usual lineman in crops, herds, health, trade, and I did I'll actually go ahead and just I'll put another one to trade. Trying to get trade agreements here is always a pain in the butt. Now as per usual, first thing you want to go ahead and do is reorganize your clan reign and you know what? You will work. You're actually, thankfully, you're the best. Otherwise, that would have been annoying. I would have uh, had to... I don't even know. Um, they're really... Oh, it's like... <laughs> there's nobody else on here that's an Orlanth worshiper. You are, but you're old. I mean, even him, he's going to end up dying before the end of the game, So, but I will have time to groom a successor. Hopefully. So you're staying in that spot. Animals... Kind of old. Um, you, the Odalan. I, I don't really want Odala worship on the ring, but you know what? You're, you're, you're just better than him. So guess what? You're in that spot. You're old. You worship Solano Roy. Well. Fine, old person, you go on there. I want to worship Rufus Sorry's on the rain, at least for right now. Because that'll give me some bonuses and trying to make a trade agreement, even though you're probably going to suck. Your combat skill's pretty, well, it's a little above average, but still, it's decent. God, I hope so. Come on, I've been Melian, Humoctian, Vingan, uh, I. I want no Malar mocked. You have better combat and you're younger. Screw it. You on the rain. For custom. Wow, I actually have a lot of people that worship Lanker Maya for once. My god, I know it can happen. Everyone has good leadership that I'm putting on the rain. Why did my voice just crack there? You have pretty shit combat, but you have good custom. So go under the rain. Have fun. You, Mr. Man, Mr. Mansky, or however the fuck your name's pronounced, you're no good. For magic, I have... Solana Roy. Oh well, you go on the ring too. 
Granted, was is there really anyone else I'd prefer to have on? Well, I prefer to have a trickster. Um, but I don't think I don't think I have a trickster. No. I don't think I do. The plants I have. Oh hey, Barntar. You know what? That works pretty fine for me. You're not super old. Where were you on that list? Wow, I, I had four people. Yes, me. Yeah. No, you're too old. Really rare that I have like two Odalian worshippers. You know what? This works though. Barntar, you go. What, what the hell are, even are you? You have good leadership. No. You go to the clan rain. Oh, hopefully that you people see success. Except you're gonna die like immediately, I know, but still, we will see success. And one thing I never really did end up making mention um, in the last playthrough is you can change the way that your clan is. Um, it, it does take a number of years to happen. I think you lose a whole bunch of magic if you do. But you can end up changing, and you know, it'll give you various bonuses to this and that and this and that, but I always stay balanced. I war too much to be peace, and I do not enough war to be war, so. Reorganize. And nothing happened for once. It's probably not going to end that way. So, what can we... Also, another thing that you should always do, it would really help if I was being told. Okay, you. And there are 33 hides of land. That I can do. It's normally always around like 30 to 35. That's normal. Now you'll be able to increase it too. I will go to 130. Re increase the pasture land up to. I'll go it up to 70. Why the hell not? Cropland is for farming, pastures for herding, wildlands for hunting, and, and something else. The more wildlands that you have, the easier it is for enemies to attack you. Your patrols are less effective, essentially. And I could go ahead and slaughter some animals, but I really don't have a need to. Um, you know what, I'll actually go ahead and do that right now. I will go ahead and kill 300-ish pigs. Yeah, I will slaughter 298. I'll go ahead and do that, make the turn a little bit more efficient. I'll go ahead and get rid of, let's say, around 200-ish sheep as well. Is it exactly even? Uh, close enough, 199. Why can't you ever be even, damn? Well, I mean, that's even, but you know what I'm saying. Doesn't end in zeros. You're so close. Oh, right, let's just continue. Great Warriors of the Death God Humonk, that's also way too freaking loud. My god, that's super loud in my head. Hopefully that doesn't... Well, I can also fix it. Great Warriors of the Death God Humonk, assembling the clan hall to push you for help. Found us walking corpses. Yeah, I will go ahead. I'm just gonna go ahead and send you some warriors. Hopefully they don't all die in the process. They all die in the process. Nah, never mind. Um, hmm. <laughs> They'll come up and be like, nope, they're all dead. I'll be like, well, that was kind of stupid of me, wasn't it? You know what? You... On average difficulty, you don't get attacked your first year, so you know what? I can do that sort of thing and be just fine. So for this fire season, I'm going to be a bit peaceful. Uh, I'm going to go ahead... Oh, whatever. We have the... Oh, that's trade partners. Never mind. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. We... So we have the gray dogs way over here that probably won't attack us, and then the Varmandi, which will be our main enemy. On uh, on hard difficulty, you start with three enemies, two of them super close to you. But let's go ahead, I want to have a trade agreement, that's what you should always have. I'm going to go to the Tanahart. However you want to say it. They know it's a favor, even though I don't think that matters. Go ahead and establish, I'm going to really protect you, and then you'll get promptly, like, as a crater or something, you'll just come back flayed. <sighs> Set up a trade agreement woman. And fire season again. I'm going to go ahead and set out another. Now, if you go out really far, you want to have more guards, but hopefully this, just, you know, sending regular footmen won't be bad. 30 footmen is equivalent to six weapon things, so I can only hope that it'll end up working. Go. Now, wars are bad for the mission. Fighting was fierce too as I'm slain. There is no treasure to be found, but that is the way with walking corpses. That is very true. That is very true. Sometimes, you, sometimes I think you get them back um, right after, but I also... It's been a while since I played the game, and I know I, there's a lot of randoms involved, so... 
Oh no, not this again. No, I couldn't convince him to set up a trade agreement. Oh boy. This isn't going to end well, I'm sure. Really, this fast? <clears throat> one of your colleagues was found slain in the isolated corner of Gratula. She is obviously the victim of secret murder, one of the most serious crimes in Orlan society. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and conduct a divination as you always should. The, uh, now, the more magic you have... Actually, I'm not sure that's entirely true. I think that so long as you have a magic point, you will almost always get the truth. If you have negative magic or, like, zero magic, if there's a chance that it will be wrong. Said that it was murdered by bands crazed by bad wine. Really, by bad wine. The wine was so bad, or they were so drunk. I mean, that actually means so good. That they ended up murdering the woman. I've never had this event actually be by bandits. I've always had it be by someone possessed. You're gonna go ahead and blame bandits. I will go ahead, send a war party. You, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and send the Hamaktian. It's your job to murder people, and then probably everyone that I send out will be killed. He found the outlaws and did battle with them. Slew three of them and either cap and either captured the others, drove them out, one of the captives admitted to having killed. Ern Ern Engerna. I really don't know how to say that. Oh, hey, yes, you got magic for that. Nor do I believe you ever get magic from this. At least I have, I should say. Well, that was different. Now we're here in Earth season again. Guess what? Um, you know what you're going to go ahead and do? You're going to go out and set up a goddamn trade agreement lady. For weapon things, minimal footmen. Because uh, footmen also have some farmers in there. I don't know the exact mix of what it is. Yeah, footmen are also farmers, so you don't want to use a lot of footmen during planting or harvesting time. Couldn't set up a trade agreement. Maybe I should have gone with mysteries instead. I will admit that. Fine, I will go ahead and do that. I already have the rain blessing. Okay, well that doesn't matter anyway. Asaris, please help me, bro. I know I didn't put anything to mysteries, but come on. You know you want to help me, right? That's not what I was thinking of helping. At least you didn't tell me to go fuck myself, but still, that wasn't my intention. Now, in long campaign, you have to do every single one of the, um, of the hero quests, essentially. You have to do every single one. In the short game, you only have to do three after. Um, I think as long as you do all nine, you're fine. Uh, I'd have to read up and double check though. I don't remember the parameters off the top of my head. Uh, <laughs> Alright, fine. I will go ahead. I'll do what I should have done in the first place. And, you know, sacrifice all this stuff. And then, uh, the Dahlias, they want an author. And it will improve the ritual and increase the ability to game the area. I don't really care about hunting. I've never. I prefer farming in the first place. I will go ahead, I will tell them that I owe them a favor, I guess. Thing us in kind, said the fire quartz which many of them belong to would one day take us up on that offer with the AI very suddenly gets, uh, you know, it's like, hey, go ahead, I want that favor repaid. Very suddenly do they do that. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. And uh, the Varmindy clan worshipper come bearing gifts and message from Chieftain. You think we're a map, but well, we know you think. Uh, therefore, we must trust you. <laughs> really? Propose an alliance. Uh, with my little Tula, we think about it. Uh, hmm. So, it's essentially do I want to have an ally with really whacked out and crazy people? The answer to that is obviously yes. We said we'd send an emissary next season to discuss the alliance. We send back further gifts. Okay, so when you need to do that, only issue I am in dark season. Um, also, who the hell was that for? I completely, completely, I completely forgot who it was. Was it our at? Was it Varmondi? Wait a minute. I might be. Uh, I was like, wait a minute, the Varmondi. The people that we're feuding with, they wanted 
to have an alliance. No, I just got that wrong. Um, I can send someone out. I don't think it will actually go, because, you know, I'm dark season. Installing proposed an alliance. I'm going to go ahead and do it, because I, when I did it last time, they did not appreciate it. So I'm going to go ahead, propose an alliance with you guys, that I said next season, go. Yeah. I didn't think that was going to happen. I'll have to wait until storm season, I'm sure. Asaris, please come help me. The Varmoni are going to be pissed I didn't end up, you know, doing the whole thing. It's like, well, I mean, there's snow everywhere. What the hell do you want me to do? I think Silver Tom works, too. Uh, Arlon's come singing your helping raid against the Varmondi. He reminds you of obligations. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go you going to be so eager to threaten to steal the Arlanthi's thunder. I don't care. I'm going to go ahead. What do you think? Yep, they're unpredictable. Sometimes they fight poorly, sometimes ferociously. A lot of people are essentially saying either we go with the gods or we just send a full war party. I'm going to go ahead, send a damn full war party. We end up getting some loot, nor do I believe in this instance do we get casualties unless we outright lose. We end up getting some loot, perfect, and we repay the favor. Now we're in storm season. Hey, guess what? I'm still going to go ahead. I'm not going to send you, though. I'll send the Chelani Arroyan. That isn't really working in plural. On Stali, I want... No, no, wrong one. I'm not used to, like, ever trying to propose alliances. You go. Yes, I said you go. We will make allies of the crazy people. We promise. Please come back. Hurry up. Hopefully they won't be angry. He approaches upon Sai and negotiate alliance with them. How do I argue? He is known for my room as pure for his wealth of lust. Mm. Now, making alliances, if you know about if you know about the leader, you essentially pawn to that. However, this guy, you can you only got one guy. So you kinda have to take his word unless you outright know. I know he is absolutely fucking crazy. <sighs> we'll just go ahead, do what the man says, says you'll profit greatly, and he agreed. <laughs> Consideration and disadvantages I conclude we can only benefit from it. Yeah, and about five minutes later he's gonna go, nope, 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 wrong people, you're all insane. I like how the portrait's always the same, but regardless. Yay, we have another ally. That's totally not what I wanted, but you know what, fine, we have another ally. Deal with it. I'm gonna go ahead and actually end up exploring. I haven't done any exploring yet. Then I'll round out the year. We'll travel slowly and explore. Um, surprised to see many stones. Oh, they were, um, I mean, oh, amulets. Perfect. They make good tree, um, things. The more you explore, you'll end up finding more and more stuff. Uh, it's not guaranteed that you'll find stuff every time, of course. Uh, I know there's I think like half a dozen things you can find in your tool lot. And doing like items and stuff, so yeah, that's always good to know and have. Yeah, heard that their success in the hunting does seem to be excellent of as of late, even though I'm gonna get rid of every single hunter. As you would imagine. Train mission, you were threatened by holy warriors, they didn't actually hurt me, says so it's dishonorable. And eh, Trina rub things with disrespect. Wait. At the start of the year, I sent everyone I could to fight the undead. And they're like, no, 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 you didn't. You didn't fight them at all. <sighs> Morons. Apparently you didn't get the memo that we helped out. Whatever. So that was the end of that year. 28 babies were born, 20 as adults. Got some more people, some more cattle. Fewer horses, fewer sheep, because I slaughtered all of them. So yeah, that was it. That was a good first year. Much better than the first year in hard mode. Oh, so, 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 so much better. So, uh, yeah, that was it for the first episode. So I will go ahead and see you guys next time.